Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Jason with Happy Tales. We got Beth on the other side of the camera. Hey, everybody. We kind of uh, grabbed this to do a quick video impromptu. Um, we have a little bit of an issue. And I'll have Beth span up and show you real quick. See this light up here? We've got like three lights doing that. They're just flickering on and off. Um, our unit is, is three years old. What causes this? Who knows? I'm going to say it's just cheap stuff that they buy. Now, we started doing this yesterday because, like I said, we had three lights. And uh, these were the existing lights. And as you can see, there's only a couple LEDs in there. And there's six. And, like, half of them are flashing. Or, like, this guy up here, this one, only half of them are working. So... Basically, what we did is we went on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description. We bought these guys here. Um, these are kind of the daylight hue versus the warm white. So what we're going to have to end up doing is replacing the four that are in our dinette slide. But this is how they come. They're a little thinner. As you can see, they are a much smaller profile than the old style. And then what we'll do is we'll take some of the good ones and we'll replace these two lights that are kind of wanky for the time being. And then I'll have two extras as well. So we'll kind of go over here. We'll show you the difference between the hue up on the dinette. Uh, those guys are the original. And that's one of the new ones. So basically, I just pulled that one out real quick and replaced it. And I kind of want to show you... Um, not necessarily step by step, but I'll pull the other ones down and we'll replace it real quick. Now, before we get started, anybody that has done these stupid lights, and yes, they are stupid, know that these springs right here are horrible and they are finger getters because when they're up in the ceiling, they're like so. And when you pull this down, it bites your finger. So be careful. Um, on our beacon, they are not only like with these springs, but they're also three screws that are screwed in. So be careful when you're pulling them out that they don't bite your fingers. Tools that we'll need, we'll need a, a screw shooter, um, just a normal Phillips screwdriver and a crimper. Um, these I will also link down in the description. And then these guys here, um, I picked these up at Home Depot. They come in a pack of 12, I believe. And this is the same thing that is on all of your lights. You'll notice that this light is, wires are white and black versus the new light. I should have had all this ready, I apologize. The new one are black and red. Now, most of these RVs, and when I say most, I'm going to say about 99%. There's always going to be that one oddball out there that isn't like this. White is your common. White is your ground. Black is going to be your hot. Now, these are already in there. And when we pull down a light, you might have yellow and white. You might have orange and white. But white is going to be your ground, okay? So keep that in mind. White is your ground. The other color... So it's a little different than what you're, you're used to. There might even be black coming down. And so don't think that black is your ground. White will be your ground and black could be your hot. So it always depends on what uh, wire you have coming down. So without further ado, I'll go up here. I'll show you how we pull down a light and uh, we'll get to work on it. All right. So first thing we're going to do is on these, I just have a flat blade. Um, the style of light we have and this guy just kind of snaps in place there um it does have a a thread so you could unthread it but it's just easier to pop them straight down and a lot of times these screws don't go into anything. They're just going into a little bit of a ceiling tile. So 
And you can see you're gonna get a lot of styrofoam out of your ceiling or wood chips, wood sawdust. It's just par for the course. But this is the part I'm telling you about that is a real pain. You can see right here, here's that spring that I was talking about. So you gotta kind of push it back and bring it down. Now, this is at the end of a daisy chain. Let me flip this light around and you can see that one wire is solid white. That's gonna be our ground. And this is white and yellow. That's our hot. What we'll do is we'll take and get these crimps off and then we'll put our new light on here. It's pretty simple. And then you can see that there is a hole here, here, and here. That's where the three screws went. And we'll put that back in together. So as you can see, we have turned off the power so that we have no juice to this guy. Sometimes you're able to recrimp these to slide the cables out. Um, sometimes you can't. Don't kill yourself on spending a lot of time trying to get them off. You can easily just cut your wires and then re-strip them. Um, if you're not comfortable with what wire does what, do them one at, a, one at a time so you have a reference. All right, before I have Beth turn the power back on, you can see that our, our black went into the solid white and then our red hot came into our yellow and white. So we're still dangling down here a little bit, but we'll have Beth turn the light on and you can see that we have power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on. We're gonna do these two lights up here um, and we'll pull those out so that this, all four of these lights match um, and then we'll kind of show you a picture afterwards and then we can replace these guys up here. And I'll kind of show you these guys have three little tabs on them and they just kind of line up and then they spin in place like so. And that's as easy as that light is. It's pretty simple to do. But unfortunately, you'll see that uh, you kind of leave yourself a little bit of a mess. Unfortunately, that happens. So we'll just use a vacuum and we'll use a little lint roller, pick up all that stuff. So now I'm going to tear down these other two real quick. All right, so we did run into a little bit of a snag. Again, like I said, these wires are daisy chained across and this wire was super short. And as soon as I went to strip it, it pulled it through from this hole to this hole. And that was kind of a pain in the butt to refish it through. So we just used a metal uh, clothes hanger, taped a, the wire to it and pulled it back through. Um, one thing I did find is if you strip these wires down to the light a little further, cause they're only about a quarter of an inch. So I stripped them down to about a half an inch. It made it a lot easier to tie all those wires together and then crimp them. So um, they do work. I'll have Beth uh, turn on the light real quick before we mount them, but you can see that we now have our lights again. So that was just one little hiccup that we ran in along the way. So now we're gonna button everything back up and then we'll go over to the lights here in the living room and pull those down and replace those with the existing lights. The reason I'm using the existing lights that I pulled down here is again, that hue will match. So when these lights are all on, they're the same daylight hue versus the warm white that everything else has. So that just would drive my OCD crazy. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing the steps that I'm doing instead of just swapping one for one. Okay. So as you can see, we only have one, two, and three. We don't have four, five, and six. And as you can see, it just, <laughs> just flashed on me. So that's got a bad diode. So that's what it was doing. You know, it would sometimes work, sometimes wouldn't. So that's why we're replacing that. Be kind of annoying, don't you think? <laughs> and these are the new lights. You can see that they're definitely a lot bluer than the warm light. So that's why we swapped them out. So we're going to take the original light that we pulled off one of these guys right here and we'll pull that one out, put this one back in and it'll be all good. All right. So we just pulled this light down and like I was saying before, 
you never know what color you're going to get. So here we have a blue wire and a white wire. Again, our white wires are ground and then our blue wire is our hot. And it's kind of funny that we have butt connectors on this instead of the closed end. So maybe they were in here prior, who knows? But uh, regardless, we'll take these guys off, restrip them and put that other light back on it. Okay, so we've got everything buttoned back up. Uh, we replaced all four of those lights up there in the dinette slide. And now you can see what they look like. They project a much nicer light, especially on the dinette table. It's kind of what we were looking for. And I'll be honest, we've had these lights for quite a while and we've just been kind of procrastinating. But once this light started doing what it was doing and that light over there was doing what it was doing, we decided, okay, enough's enough. So what we did is we, like I said, we replaced these two with the warm lights that were over the dinette. Um, two things that I want to bring out is watch those springs on those lights. They hurt. And <laughs> if you're not expecting them, they'll get you. They will bite. The other thing is just remember that what you think is a 12 volt as a ground being black, that's not the case in the RV. Like I said, 99% of these RVs, the ground is white. So if you are gonna get confused or if you kind of second guess it, just take a picture. Take a picture before you cut into those wires and that way you know that it's gonna go right back. Because as you saw, the lights we pulled down were a white wire and a black wire, and the lights we put up were a red wire and a black wire. So there is some discrepancy there. So just take your time, and it's not as bad as it seems. Also, turn off that power before you cut those wires. Alrighty, if you guys like videos like this, give us a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, let us know. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. And we'll see you guys next week. Once again, thank you very much from Happy Tales and we enjoy you guys.